The FDA has authorized Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine for kids ages 5 to 11, bringing them one step closer to being protected from the virus. Next, the CDC will make its recommendations. That meeting set for Tuesday. But when the approval comes, will parents rush to get the shot for their kids? KTV's Amanda Kitana joins us live with why some parents may be hesitant. How parents respond to that question has changed during the course of the pandemic. In the beginning, the thought was that we needed to protect the elderly the most, but that kids weren't really getting affected by the virus. But since then, we have seen children get sick and die of COVID. From the very beginning of the pandemic, we heard a lot of bad information that children don't get infected or that they don't get symptoms or that they don't spread to others. And all of those are incorrect. It is hospitalizing thousands of children in the U.S. alone, we shouldn't have children in the hospital at all from a preventable disease like this, and it is now preventable through vaccination. Dr. Yvonne Maldonado helped lead the Pfizer clinical trial in kids 5 to 11 at Stanford. She says the vaccine is both safe and effective, but not all parents believe that. A new survey by the Kaiser Family Foundation shows that parents of 5 to 11 year olds are almost evenly split into thirds. About a third say they definitely won't get their kids vaccinated. A little less than a third will do it right away, and more than a third will wait and see. Those kids, though, are usually safe, are still still serving as vectors so they can transmit this very transmissible variant and basically the issue doesn't go away. Dr. Vanila Singh says even though severe COVID cases are rare in kids, from a public health perspective, kids are part of society and we need them to contribute to our immunity in order to move past this. Still, she understands parents' concerns. Yes, the more vaccinations, the better, but I don't necessarily support forcing parents or making them feel forced because that has really this undesirable effect, which we've seen. The KFF survey found some of the biggest worries parents have are about long term and serious side effects and impacts on their child's fertility, despite the CDC saying there's no evidence of the vaccines causing fertility problems. Dr. Maldonado says misinformation is causing a lot of this fear. I think we need to make sure at a global level that it companies uh, that put out social media are um, really responsible for stopping this misinformation that's going out. Even for those trusting that misinformation, though, Dr. Singh doesn't want them to feel stigmatized or like they can't ask their doctor questions because she says all parents should want to know the data. In my uh, professional view, we should be welcoming questions. We should be open to concerns to help people who are really on the fence. The main message from both of these doctors is talk to your pediatrician. They know you, they know your family, and they can answer your questions honestly. Now that the FDA has approved this, pediatricians are going to have access to all of the data in the trial so that they can put it into context for you. Christina. Good advice there. All right, Amanda reporting live for us in studio. Thank you.